Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School. And we're here for our monthly angel scope for the sign of Pisces for October 2021. So before we begin, I'd just like to welcome um, everyone who's returning this month and um, to anyone else who is new to this channel and the Angel School community. Before we begin, um, I'd like to make a few announcements um, highlights from this month. One, the first thing is um, pause the video after you hear this statement. But if you haven't watched the daily card, um, I'm sorry, the general monthly angel reading for October 2021, please do that first um, because you need that information um, to go with whatever you hear here. Um, and then uh, I'll put a link below this video so you can um, easily transition to that. And then um, I'm going to just go over, oh, well, next thing is my special offer angel reading. And if you feel called to have an angel reading with me, um, you can go to my webpage, theangelschool.com slash services. And for the month of October, I'm offering my special offer for my half hour reading, uh, which has been extended to one full hour. And I've been doing this since the pandemic began. So it's still available. And um, if you'd like, you can but just select the half hour reading as it's normally written. And within 24 hours on the first business day, I will send you a confirmation email noting that special offer for one full hour. And I'm just going to ask that because of Mercury retrograde that you um, just respond when you get the email immediately and let me know that you received it. And then you can take your time, um, you know, getting back to me with your schedule or availability and the how to do that and will be all the instructions for setting up the appointment will be in that email. Okay. And finally, I just want to highlight the format here. Um, the card on the left will be a message from your Archangel that you will be working with this month. And it will highlight the major Arcana cards and that deals with the major themes, lessons, and um, influences and energies. And then the card on the right is a message from your Guardian Angel. It will um, highlight the minor arcana cards and the minor lessons we call and themes that might be moving through your life that they're, they're usually a shorter period of time and they're temporary um the major arcana can sort of last until that thing is worked out um and the other hope is that the minor arcana um, situation card will also offer advice about how to work through the um, major kind of theme. All right, so I've been recording six of these straight today, so these are the final ones, and I decided to sit down. So hopefully this works <laughs> as well as it does when I'm standing. So I'm going to ask you now to just tune into your heart space to really connect in, Pisces. Ooh, and um, I'm kind of. If this is a trunk of a tree, then this is really thin, but it almost looks like a um, pic, you know, umbrella you use for outdoors, for um, your picnic tables and things like that. And I really feel like it's metal um, rather than wood. So this is usually a symbol of, for me, protection and safety. And the reason that the the stem or the trunk of it is so thin is because um, we're not allowing. And they're writing the word manifestation. So you're not allowing the, the full channel of source energy. And I get a sense that you're, there's something, you're you're afraid of manifesting something. I just, I gotta say it like that first. Um, your intuition to show me a third eye is you're, you're being shown something or you're getting a clear gut instinct about something 
and I feel like it's overwhelming you. Um, the first thing I saw was a naked behind um, with the pants kind of down below. So it's like that that means like you got caught with your pants um, um, not quite pulled up. And I'm seeing sort of a dog um, kind of sniffing <laughs> like in the Fool's card and the Marseille Tarot. Um, and this gives me a sense of that, I don't know, like of honesty, of needing to be honest with yourself. Um, you know, that there are risks involved. Um, and maybe, you know, maybe that dog is pulling you, trying to grab onto your pants to stop you from doing something. Um, and, I, and I would think that it's whatever it is would be that it's in tune with your higher self and knows that it's not about that you're doing something wrong, but that it's not right for you. And that's a big difference if you can hear that meaning. And so that you might be, you might be putting yourself in positions that tend to make you vulnerable. And maybe this is a lesson that you don't, that you need to put an end to. So why do we put ourselves into situations that create vulnerability that bring that will bring out our weaknesses rather than our strengths why are we afraid to be in that you know place of power so that's very interesting so it, you know it feels like the fool um all those back is towards is his back is to to me um but you know it's a sense of follow your heart don't follow your don't follow your fears your ego follow your heart and embrace whatever you're feeling don't try to resist it embrace it okay so let's take another deep breath and they're writing love and fortitude and they're right in the energy of Neptune, the planet. So, yeah, it's sort of like you're kind of feeling um, like you're just stepping into the unknowns and there's just so many uncertainties and things that you don't understand and you don't know how to make sense of it. Um, wow, I forgot the words that came before it and I just said them. <laughs> But the idea is, is that, um, I can't remember what I said before Neptune, but the, the idea is, is that their messages will be coming to you in the right time that you need them. So they don't want you to worry. There, there's some things that we can't see that, and it gives us an opportunity to, it forces us to use our other senses rather than relying on the ones that we just tend to ignore or because we take them for granted and so there's this sense of you're you're letting your fear take over and you the more you do this it blinds you and then what the universe is doing is they're not trying to cripple you but they're trying to help you to use your other senses that are extremely sharp and you rarely um um, deploy them or apply them in a situation and you need to discover other strengths and other skills that you have all right let's take a look at the card oh my goodness isn't this something now this your our sign is the only one that's pulled a totally new card for all these cards all the other cards have repeated this is the archangel um shamuel at least in my memory i've, I've seen them all repeat i may be wrong but um, and I just can't believe this energy, you know, because Neptune is often associated with this card, the hangman. And it's this, you know, you know, what I was feeling was, you know, you're walking blind here, you know, it's a sense of you're, you're, you're stuck, you can't move, but it's to give you, a, to help sh reshape your perspective and walking, not, you know, when you lose, um, 
a, 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 when you lose your sight, for instance, or you lose your hearing or, or any of your senses, you know, this throws you off. This, this changes the way that you experience and you um, feel about your life. And we often see these things as a disability when they actually enable other abilities. So if you're in a position where you're feeling disabled in some way, you're, this is a time where you're being, the universe is activating, enabling other abilities for you. And so you need this time to, to slow down, to really get clear. And Archangel Shamiel's name means he who sees God. So you need to see what you're, you're seeing things from the fear perspective instead of love, divine love, the way that God and the angels see you and see the world and see opportunities and abundances surrounding you. All right, let's take a look at the card for from your guardian angel, and it's the Eight of Water, another new card that hadn't come up yet. <laughs> um, so this is about, you know, getting a sense about moving on. But maybe you don't have a sense of how to go about doing that. And, and oh, look, there's our dog. It's very similar to the one I saw. A little bit, it, it did have the two colors, but it was a dip, the face was different. I'm not, I don't, know the names of dogs that well. I would almost say like a, a rock wilder, um, but it was like brown and white or something like that. Um, but he's behind him. And, you know, it, this card also, to me, reminds me of the Fool card in another way. But, um, you know, and with the Fool, he doesn't know where he's going. And maybe we never know where we're really going. But in this sense, he knows why he's leaving, which is, I think... And the fool doesn't really know anything. He's just so caught up in the bliss. He didn't even know he was going to leave. He just started walking, going for a walk. And and then all of a sudden, the road just called to him. And he just kept going and never looked back. But here, this person knows why they need to leave. And that's what I think you're resisting. You know you need to, to move forward. You know you need to, to embrace this change. But you know, you're you're resisting it and that's what's making everything um that's what's causing you your senses or parts of you to become disabled just like with that old mechanical tree thing which turned into this umbrella um and i know we go back to that umbrella i did it's almost like you know it may be um your social you know because usually we picnic tables family or social events or something like that so maybe there's a social event or a social setting um that's no longer working for you it's disconnecting you and um and you don't feel safe or at least you don't feel like yourself you know everything doesn't have to be about like you know we're threatened some you know something's bad is happening but it's n natural but the ego will take it as a threat you know and, and project that it's just like there's just times when we just realize that we are no longer who we were and we are someone different and something new is happening to us and and it's causing us to need to go in other directions and and it's time to do that. Okay. So, I'm just tune in and see if there's anything additional. And let me tell you, this time, like, he's walking, um, pants still down, but I, I see a boot. Um, I see inside of his body, like, a, a path and a boot. And what they're telling me is basically, yeah, you're not going to feel, <laughs> you're not going to feel less, um, you know, what's the phrase you're not going to feel less like you know a fish out of water but as you take the journey on this path and you um and, and just let your worries go and surrender to that and open up to all the abundance meaning opportunities the new experiences that you see and 
everything will start to feel more like like home, like it's natural. Like this is where you should have been all along, but you were always where you needed to be in order to realize where you want to be. All right. So I send you lots of love and angel blessings and have a beautiful month of October Pisces. God bless you.